There are two identical bubbles of gas form at the bottom of the lake. They both rise to the surface. Uh, they both expand because the pressure on top is much lower than the pressure at the bottom. A rises quickly, no heat is exchanged. Uh, B rises slowly, it remains in thermal equilibrium. Which of the two bubbles is larger by the time they reach the surface? Okay, so this uh, problem, I, I already did it and uh, uh, I, I sort of made a mistake, so I'm just gonna, uh, I made a, a typing mistake on one of the equations, so I'm just gonna go ahead and re-explain it without writing it out, because I already did. Uh, so uh, uh, this is, uh, this here is a clear case uh, uh, of uh, isothermal uh, versus adiabatic expansion of an ideal gas. So since bubble A, there is Q is zero, uh, there is no uh, heat exchange uh, between it and the water. This is the adiabatic expansion and it follows the uh, rule for adiabatic expansion PV to the gamma equals C where gam gamma is the F plus 2 over F uh, where F stands for the degrees of freedom of the molecules of the um, uh, gas. Uh, now clearly F is an integer and it's positive so F plus 2 over F has to be greater than 1. This will become important in a minute when I do the comparison. Okay, uh, the uh, because f plus two is greater than f. Uh, now uh, b, uh, there is no uh, there is equilibrium with the water, so it's it's uh, it's isothermal because the temperature does not change, so it obeys the ideal gas law. PV equals NAT. Now at the bottom, uh, they both obey uh, each one obeys its own relation so p0 v0 to the gamma equals some constant c that's for uh, molecule a so uh, this here is molecule a and uh, uh, and this here uh, the second one is molecule b and i called p0 v0 the pressure and the volume at the bottom of the lake that's where they were, bo where both they were. Now, when they rise to the surface, uh, A will become P1, the pressure on the surface, times V, whatever the volume of A is, raised to the gamma, that's equal C. So I equated them together here, and I solved for VA, right? Because, uh, you know, the product is the same of P0, V0 to the gamma. And after I did that, I got VA to uh, as a function of P0, V0, and P1. And uh, the other one, since uh, the number of molecules are the same, uh, K is the same, and the temperature of the water is assumed to be the same, also P1, VB has to also equal NKT, which means P0, V0 has to equal P1, VB. So, so that means uh, VB the volume of molecule B at the surface will equal P0 V0 over P1. Now for me to figure out which one is larger, I have I have to compare the volume of A at the surface to volume of B at the surface, and that's why I solved for both volumes at the surface of each one using its own uh, expansion formula. Okay, and now what I did is I put them in the table uh, v0 is the same in both, so it doesn't count. So technically, if I combine these two terms together, uh, I'm looking for, so this is the formula I got up there. I just, v0 gamma raised to the one over gamma becomes v0, and p0 over p1 raised to one over gamma, and on the right-hand side, p0, v0 over p1. v0 doesn't count because it's in both terms, so it remains to compare the pressure terms and which one whichever one is larger will have a larger volume and so on the left hand side for VA P0 over P1 1 over gamma now we know that the pressure at the bottom is much larger than the pressure at the surface so this ratio here is greater than 1 now we already said above that gamma is greater than 1 so 1 over gamma will be less than 1 so here we have a number inside which is greater than 1 raised to a number that is less than 1 as an example 5 raised to the 0 0.2 whereas on the right hand side we have the same ratio greater than 1 but that's raised to 1 which one is bigger well clearly when you raise 
any number greater than one to a number less than one, the number gets much smaller and therefore this side wins. And as a result, we conclude that the volume of B, which is the bubble that is experiencing the isothermal expansion, will be larger at the surface than the bubble of A, which is experiencing the adiabatic expansion. Uh, it's an interesting conceptual question and I apologize uh, because I ha already had it written down uh, so I didn't want to rewrite again uh, but hopefully I've explained it in a way that makes sense and adequate uh, for what it's, what it's trying to highlight and point out.